standard air handler is a piece of equipment used in some split air conditioning and heat pump systems, specifically ducted forced air systems that do not include a gas, propane, or oil-fired furnace. So you'll either have one of those types of furnaces or an all-electric air handler. You can see here they install in the ductwork much like a furnace would. Here's a picture of one in a horizontal application up in an attic. They can also be installed in a crawl space or vertically in a closet or basement application. They come in lots of different configurations to meet your needs. Over here you can see the connections for the line set where the refrigerant travels through the, the line set from that outdoor condensing unit or heat pump into the air handler inside. There's also the drain connections for the condensation that's created by the air handler when it's cooling. Here are the knockouts and there's another set on the side for the high voltage electrical that'll power the unit as well as the control wiring that will be connected to your thermostat in order to turn on when you need cooling and heating. Now the ductwork connects at either end of an air handler. Uh, you can see the flanges here and then at the bottom you would connect it. So you don't actually ever install an air handler the way I have it sitting right on the ground. It would need to have access to that ductwork underneath. Now let's take a look inside. As you can see I've removed the front panels of the air handler and now you can see the evaporator coil that comes factory installed in any air handler. The refrigerant travels through those ports from the line set connection from outdoors and that flows through the evaporator coil. Your home's air passes across it cooling or in heat pump applications heating as well that home's air. You can also see the drain pans where the condensation that's pulled out of the home is, is collected and drained off. This particular model can also be installed horizontally, so the drain pan runs up the side as well. It's in an L shape. Gives you more flexibility in the installation. Here's the blower for the air handler. They come in multi-speed or the fancier variable speed models to meet your needs. And then we have the electrical connections. Here's the electrical hookup for the high voltage 220 volt power that will power this air handler. And alternatively, if you'd like to have electric heat, there's an optional heater coil you can add to the system. This particular heater coil is a smaller 5 kilowatt model. They come in many different sizes. The element here glows red and produces heat much like the inside of your toaster. And it also has these breakers that come installed for you so you can use them as the emergency shutoff for the air handler. And you'll wire that high voltage power simply by removing the high voltage connection and clipping it directly into the heater coil. So now you'll have just the one circuit or two if you have a larger heater coil powering both that heating element and the air handler itself. You then remove a metal plate that's in the back of this cavity here, slide the heater coil into position and you're set to go in just a couple of minutes. There's lots more information on air handlers on our site. Check that out to help determine the precise model to meet your needs, or of course, give us a call, we'd be happy to help.